Hey, anyone popping in right now? I hope you are doing well. I thought I would pop in real fast while I was doing dinner prep to share a really easy, quick side item. Woo! Hey guys, I won't keep you just really fast. Hi, Jessica. I am not much of a chef. Um, it is not my specialty. So most of you probably already know how to do this, but since I was quickly making some roasted red potatoes, hi, Other Mary, um, I thought I would just show you how we do it. So to make roasted red potatoes for the family, and hello, Jenny, um, I just chop up. Oh, yeah, Alicia, I would love, if only I delivered to Minnesota, right? Actually, you know, side I am such um, not the baker that I finally decided years ago that as much as I loved all of my friends when they had their babies and they wanted meals, that wasn't me. I was forgiving myself um, of not being the dinner person. I actually deliver um, chopped up fruit, veggies, bagels, and chicken salad because I, I, I have enough of a hard time doing dinner for me much less doing dinner for someone else. It totally stressed me out. So sorry, Alicia. Even if you were around the corner, no, I'm not bringing dinner. <laughs> but I do have people over for dinner occasionally. So, sorry, I got distracted there. Back, um, yeah, I think a lot of people come up with their dinner item. I'll be right there, Dan. Okay, so for roasted red potatoes, um, you just chop up potatoes, however much you want, and then I poured some olive oil all over these things. Um, it was probably two tablespoons, not 100% sure because that's the great thing about potatoes is you really can't screw them up. So next, I am going to throw in some minced garlic and I used to always mince my own. I think I'm just doing like two teaspoons. I'll see how it looks. Um, I'm a garlic person, so you really, you could do a lot of is garlic. Is this new or is it um, old? No, this is what I always make. And then... Ah. Mix that up, and then you can throw in whatever you want. So if you want to be really easy, you can just do some pepper and some salt. But um, I decided to use, a, you can go in your spice cabinet and just sniff anything and wonder, would this be good on potatoes? <laughs> That's how I choose my seasoning. It's really secret. So this is rancher steak rub. And um, in this rub is sea salt, pepper, garlic, allspice, cinnamon, cloves, and ginger. And we really love this seasoning. So I just throw it in there, um, a lot of it. I like the roasted potatoes to be really well seasoned. I have used lemon pepper from Tastefully Simple, and that's good. I have just done salt and pepper, but you can just really do whatever you want. That's what's good about this dinner. And then it is done. Once you throw your olive oil and seasonings on, yeah, no junk in the Wild Tree seasonings. Um, Wild Tree, that's one of their things. Like it's all organic and no preservatives or anything like that. So I'm going to pick this up because the last step is just to come over to your pan. Ah, I had it right next to me. I'm so fine. Look, and I put it in one that has um, aluminum foil because the, the it makes cleanup easier because the potatoes tend to stick. So you can see there's a lot of good seasonings I'll pull out of there when I get off the scope using the spatula and just spread them around and pop them in the oven. I don't know what the rule book would say, but I am going to pre 425 and then I just test the potatoes at about 40 minutes and see how they are. I like them crisp. If you like them softer, you would do less. So that's it. That's my side dish to share with you today. I'm hoping to get on and do an actual scope tonight um, and throw in my two cents on gaming in the house. Um, but while I was doing this, I thought, okay, well, in case anyone hasn't tried it before, I will show you what we do with it here. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I will maybe see you later tonight. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. I've been on like a cooking roll today because I had the, um, these earlier. If you missed my scope earlier, we did um, 
cupcakes in cake cones. So that's in my Periscope account right now. And Wild Tree, I have scoped about that. If you go to my catch page, I do not sell Wild Tree. I'm not affiliate with Wild Tree. It's just been a seasoning company that we have really enjoyed. And they, um, the girl here who sells it hosts monthly freezer meal parties. In fact, I'm going to one in March. And um, with your payment, you pay like $75 and you get seven to nine of the products. And then we always have stuff left over. Um, it's, it's like one of the at-home business marketing companies like Creative Memories or Tastefully Simple or Pampered Chef. Um, so you can buy online, but you have to, I think, purchase through a consultant. So we have a lot in this area. Um, funny, living in Maryland, I didn't know anyone who sold Wild Tree. And after moving to North Carolina, um, we found it everywhere. So you could look it up. Um, I love the freezer parties. And then I just use the leftover seasonings all the time. Yeah, it was new to me when I moved here. Um, but I've really liked it. I haven't been to a freezer party now, though, in like four or five months. So I have just been working to use up my seasonings. So yeah, you can check them out online. I really like their seasoning combinations. Um, in my pantry, oh, I have so many. Um, but they have all kinds though. This is spicy carne asada. My girl's favorite one is adobo seasoning and they will put it on everything. Here it is, what's in this? This is adobo seasoning and they will put this on everything. Um, they put it on their rice. It has garlic, salt, onion, black pepper, oregano, and cayenne pepper. So they have just really good, they have like rubs and chicken soup bouillon bases and everything. I use their grapeseed oil now to make my salad dressings and I've just been happy with everything. All right guys, I will see you later. Thanks for tuning in. I said it would be quick. All right, bye-bye.